The teams have been announced and the date is set. MCC 22 is just around the corner and that means it's prediction time. So which team will be victorious, which team will fail spectacularly and which team will shock the world? These are my predictions for MCC 22. But before we begin, these are just my opinions and predictions. So if you have different ones to me, why not leave it in the comments section below. And I'll be looking at the best in a future video. Also, whilst you're down there, why not subscribe? We're almost 100 away from 2,000 subscribers. So if you could help me reach that huge number, it would mean everything to me. But enough rambling. Let's begin at... 10th place, the Blue Bats. The return of Tapple and Eric to the tournament is of course a welcomed one, after they missed out on MCC 21. However, despite this team perhaps being the best vibes, I unfortunately can only see them getting 10th in the tournament. Tapple is of course a brilliant player who is bound to lead this team to some success in games like Rocket Spleef Rush and Sands of Time. But due to him not being in that many events, he's yet to establish himself as the S tier that he can probably be. However, he's joined by the experienced Tubbo, who he played with in MCC 20, and I believe these two could definitely forge a brilliant partnership. They're also joined by the wonderful Snifferish with their 100% win rate after victory in MCC 21, as well as Erit, whose calm and supportive nature would definitely help her team. But sadly for me at least, I can only put them in 10th position. However, of course, as with all these teams, I hope they have an excellent tournament and prove me wrong. 9th place, the Purple Pandas. This might be a shock as of course Puns is a brilliant player who's shown some terrific skill this season. And along with that, his team is quite an experienced one with the wonderful Gemini Tay, Cub Fan and Shovel joining the Pandas for this tournament. So what crazy guy would put them in ninth? Well, let me explain. To begin with, whilst this team is definitely an experienced one, with all the players having won in previous tournaments, as a group they're not the strongest, bar puns himself, who won't really have a secondary to support him. And of course, having a strong team is so important in many games like Battlebox, Sands of Time and Parkour Tag. Aligning with this, Puns is coming off a difficult last tournament where he came 9th, which is of course still amazing, but I can see this being followed up by yet another difficult tournament, or perhaps he'll show up massively and take this team to the top, proving me very, very wrong. 8th place, the Aqua Axolotls. Perhaps another shock to the system as Aqua are a fan favourite for this event. And trust me, I would love for this team to do wonderfully as well. H-Bomb comes into his first event as a five-time champion and he'll once again be trying to lead this team to victory with Green and Scar joining up together to try and flip the script after their 10th place finish last time out. With the final piece of the puzzle being the Dodgeball Queen Full symmetry, who is looking for a fourth win in the tournament. This team could do incredibly well if the games fall in the right way, aka Sands of Time and Big Sales being pretty much last. However, with Scars and Green's insane fall in Battlebox last event, they'll be desperate for that not to happen again, and I'm worried that will have a big effect on them this MCC. And unfortunately, that's why for me, they're ranked so low. 7th place, the Green Geckos. So, Sapnap can take a complete newbie to victory, but can he take two complete newbies to victory instead? That seems to be Scott's thinking with this team, as both Foolish and Tina join the event for the first time. Now of course Sapnap's great friends with this team, and will definitely be doing his all to take them to the top with the hilarious Michael McChill also joining them. 
and I'm sure they have a shot. However, it will definitely be difficult given how tricky first tournaments can be. And as this does seem like a massive ploy to make sure that Saplant doesn't win a 6th tournament, I can only slot them in 7th. But of course, I'm fully aware of just how insane he is, and I'm definitely not betting against him shocking everyone once again. 6th place, the Golden Girls. That's right, I refuse to call this team the Yellow Yaks. They're 100% the Golden Girls. Blushy joins the tournament for her first canon event after her insane performance in MCC Rising, joining up with her teammate from that event, Jojo Solos, who is incredible in the last tournament and will definitely be looking to take it to a next level by leading her very own team to victory. With G Nelly playing in the event for the third time, as well as the experienced Sylvie who's coming off another strong performance. This team will definitely be the underdogs for the tournament, but I think they'll surprise a lot of people. Jojo came in the top 10 last event despite it being her first tournament, and her team only finishing 8th as well. And I reckon that Blushy will similarly have a brilliant first tournament. Along with that, Sylvie always performs superbly, and G will put her heart into getting victory. The Golden Girls are definitely my dark horses for this event. 5th place, the Lime and Subscribe Llamas. Please like and subscribe. In my opinion, this is a tournament of the 4 time winners. And that begins with the tournament organiser Smajer in the Lime Llamas. He's got the ability and the vibes in his team as the top 5 player Quig joins him as well as Solidarity and Palescent Moon, bring her epic holding the wall strategy of living in Australia. The duo of Scott and Quig has been a successful one in the past, winning in MCC5 as well as coming second in All Stars. And they'll definitely be looking once again to bring their A game, so they can win their 5th and 3rd respective tournaments. Solidarity will be looking to shake off his last place in the last event, where he proved that you should never crack a mirror, and Pearl will also be desperate to get a first victory. They definitely have the ability to, but unfortunately, as this event is so cracked, somehow I can only place them here, despite the fact they have a huge chance of getting the victory. 4th place, the Can't See Red Rabbits. Let's get serious for a second. This team is so insanely good that it feels like some sort of crime to only place them in fourth. But as I said, this tournament's teams are crazy. And that means that unfortunately, once again, I think the god that is Dream will miss out on his fifth victory. Although for many fans it won't matter, because the excitement of seeing George and Dream play once again is immense, and with their friends Puffy and Awesome Dude joining them as well, this team is going to be hella fun to watch, so long as Buildmar doesn't spoil their mood. But for real, why are they only in fourth when on paper they could very well be the best team? Well it's fairly simple, because unfortunately some of these players had a very tricky MCC 21, with Dream, Sam and George all underperforming with Puffy also having a difficult time in MCC 20. Now of course this could drive them to do better than those results, but it does beg the question whether success could just be a stretch away from their reach. But as I said before, I really hope they can have a good time and ride those vibes to victory. 3rd place, the Cyan Coyotes. Okay look, Last event I predicted 3rd place for Wilburn Rambu, and it was wrong, but I'm going to do it again anyway, because this time I genuinely think they have what it takes to get 1st. But you know, 3rd place curse, because they're joined by 2 other brilliant players in CPK and Wisp. It's a team that can definitely take it to the max, with CPK coming into this tournament after a brilliant win in MCC 21. 
and I expect they'll definitely take the lead into this tournament, with the others all having a wide range of skills that will certainly help them in this event. Whether it's Wisp's insane battle box skills, Rambu's hole in the wall expertise, or Wilbur's love of Ace Race, which will hopefully be played this season, so we can finally see the marriage between man and game. Unfortunately for them, however, the curse is just too real for me, and therefore, as always, they are third place. But speaking of curses, second place, the Pink Parrots. Whilst one curse may live on, another will be broken, as I predict the captain will break the curse and get into dodgeball for a fourth time after previously making it in MCC 2, 3 and 15. He's joined by Purple, who will look to right the wrongs of the last event, as well as yet another teen in Tommy in it, with his sensei for ace race, Orion Sound, bringing up the rear. Now of course, the third place curse could be in full effect, but given the fact Purple managed to get third individually last tournament, which was only his second, I think we can definitely say he is a force to be reckoned with in MCC, and I expect he'll be considered an S tier in no time. Along with that, Tommy also popped off last event, getting a huge 10th, even outscoring his teammate Dream. And of course, Ollie will be desperate to get his first victory, as well as the captains. I mean, seriously, they have nothing to lose and it all to win this tournament, and I think it's just a toss of the coin in dodgeball. For the eventual winners between them and first place the orange ocelots surely it's time for pizza hut to get his fifth win in mcc the man the myth the legend has been recently taking it slow enjoying the fun of it rather than going for the win but surely with this team he can once again try hard for the victory He's firstly joined by Rai Guy Rocky, who is a veteran of the event, who definitely has the skills to pay the bills, along with Smallish Beans, who is coming off a huge 7th place last event. And finally, the beaver man himself, Spifey, who will be definitely putting his all into getting that crown. In my opinion, all the momentum is in this team's favour, and we could see yet another 5-time winner get that highly coveted special coin. However, we've now reached the end of my predictions for MCC 22. As I said before, I'd love to see yours down in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, remember to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. But there's only one thing left to say now, which is to thank you for watching. And of course, peace.